I'm gonna make, I have to have a black lightweight skirt for work. It's a part-time job. I have a heavy duty black one that's more like winter. It's a heavier cotton um, fabric. It's almost canvasy actually. And the other day I was at a thrift store and they had a whole bunch of stuff on sale and <coughs> it was half off what the sale price was. And so I got a black queen duvet. So it's two things of fabric plus all the trim. I tore the whole thing apart. And I ended up with like five long strips of um, fabric, wherever they went to. <laughs> and I cut out all of the pattern pieces. I'm using the Truly Victorian TV 291 walking skirt pattern. Um, I am currently in the process of ironing all of the pieces. I love this stuff because it's got like a stripe to it. And it's a satiny type texture stripe with a mat. It, it's just, I think it was like how it was woven. Anyway, it's just beautiful and I love it. And it's subtle. I cut the skirt pieces out where the stripes go up and down. And I am also going to use the kick plate hem plate pieces. So I have sewn the front to the side pieces. I love how it has this sound, almost like taffeta. I just, I just love that sound, that shoo, shoo, shoo sound. So this is the front piece. And this time I'm gonna put a pocket in this side front piece or attach, attach pockets um, before I put the other pieces together. Um, and I sewed, so this is the back and the back, uh, the back side and the back, and this is the placket for the attachment in the back. So I'm gonna put a pocket on this seam to go with the front seam. And I'm gonna play with that um, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. I've made this pattern a couple times now, but I always forget to put the pocket in. And I don't know why I do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a pocket in this time. And um, I'm also gonna link below Nikki's um, video on how to put a pocket in, uh, in the link below, because she has an amazing how-to on that. And I don't think that I could explain it any better than she does. She does a magnificent job on that.
perfectly good work skirt. My hair's a little messy, but I've been sewing for a while. I'm so pleased. This is where we're at. I have sewn together the back, the side back, and the side pieces, and I have not ironed them yet, okay? This is the interlining, and this is the outside fabric, okay? So I want to put a front on this where the front actually closes the back folds the black folds over the black but then there's a decorative piece that goes on the front that folds over like a placket and closes and covers the front this is my scrap fabric it's just like my nighty <laughs> scrap fabric um so i'm gonna sew darts in this and i'm gonna piece it and we'll come back and we'll see what that looks like This is gonna be my piece. And it's gonna be sewn down to the front on one side and then snap closure on the other side. And it's mostly a decorative just to cover the front. Yay. <laughs>
So here is me cutting, I'm, I'm whip stitching this tape over this tiny boning. Um, and once it's all encased, then I will whip stitch it to the bodice on the inside on the seam that it goes on. But I wanted to show you this because um, I did a whole bunch of them last night, but it was too dark to film very well. So I wanted to do it in the light so you could see it. But I'm just, I folded over the end and made like a little case and it sits, that tip sits in there nicely. And I'm just whipping stitch it around. This is half inch tape and this is quarter inch boning. Okay, so I want to do a real quick update on what I'm doing with this bodice. Um, so I wore this bodice to work yesterday and the day before yesterday, and it fits, it's wonderful, but now I'm putting boning in it um, because I, I noticed that wearing it, it needed a little bit more structure. I kind of figured it did, but I wore it a couple times to make sure. What I've done here is I have really tiny um, five millimeter I believe is the size from Burnley and Trowbridge. That's all they had when I ordered it. So I went ahead and ordered it. Otherwise I would have ordered the wider stuff. But what I did is I ordered tape and boning. And so this is the tape. It's half inch tape. And I have folded it in half and encased the boning in it. And then I sewed two boning strips together and now I am tacking them inside the blue placket. And I have a couple others that I have done that are just single and they're gonna go in other places in the bodice. So when I get it, all the whole thing put together, I'll show you, but um, I have whip stitched them together, well, singly and then together. And now I am tacking them down and I'm just running it down right through the middle of the um, pin tucks on the opposite side and it'll lay flat and it'll give it a little bit more structure at least I hope we'll see how this turns out okay so this is the bodice with the bones I don't know if you can see the difference from my other pictures but this is significantly more flat it's laying better it doesn't have this weird as much puckering in the middle I mean, I could put a, I could put a bone on the inside there, but I don't think I'm going to, because I put a bone right here in this seam. It's kind of hard to see. Black ring. So I put a bone here, and then I put a bone here. And I really like it. I do think though that the back, probably this seam, and this one on this side, probably need bones that extend past the waist because I'm getting some buckling here. I don't know if you can see that. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm really liking this and I'm definitely going to make another one. I do think there's something wrong with the sleeve and I don't know if it's that this part needs to come up higher. I think it does because it's pulling almost like it doesn't have enough ease in here from the bodice. The sleeve itself has plenty of room because I've got so much extra. I cut bigger sleeves because I wanted the poof. So I think when I go back to my pattern, I'm going to add some fabric in here for my next one because I want to make a green one to kind of go with my green leaf skirt because I really like that skirt and I think it deserves a bodice of its own. We go. So the final thoughts I have on my black bodice and my black skirt are thus. I absolutely love the black skirt. I didn't do any interlining. It's deliberately really lightweight. The hem, I did use the hem plates that are in the pattern from the Victorian, um, the truly Victorian pattern that I used. And I really like it. I put pockets in it. Uh, don't forget to check out Nikki's video on that. I'll link it below. Um, the bodice 
is the second time I've made this bodice, but it's the first time I put boning in it, and it's the first time I did a decorative placket. And I really like how it turned out. The bottom part of how I attach the placket to the bodice, I don't like. So I will be doing that differently on my next one. And I am making another one. But uh, the waist tape, I didn't put, so when I used this pattern before, I didn't put a waist tape in it and I didn't use any boning. And it still turned out okay. I ended up putting like a, a fan placket in the back. Uh, and that was for my Frozen outfit. Uh, this time, I kept the bodice shorter. I didn't add a trim at the bottom, but I did put a placket in the, in the front. And I do, I do really like the look. And I am going to make another one and I'm gonna keep refining my design, but it's lightweight, it's comfortable. Um, I needed something that was lightweight at my employment because they keep the heat on high all of the time <laughs> and I roast. And it's really nice, lightweight. I didn't line the sleeves. I just lined the bodice for structure and it was exactly what it needed with the boning. The boning did matter. I wore it for a couple days before I put boning in it and I realized, yeah, I really do need the boning. So for for future, those of you that are working on that same bodice pattern, just know that that is, that is kind of a necessary thing. Um, and please leave your questions below in the comments. I love reading comments. I, I try really hard to answer everybody's. Um, and the other thing to check out is my Ko-fi account and my uh, Patreon account. I am posting a lot of stuff on the paid side of my Patreon. I'm going to be putting blogs over there and I'm going to be putting unedited video of construction over there. So have a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you next week.
I want to do a quick shout out to a Kofi uh, donation from Amy. Thank you so much for your donation and every penny counts, guys.